Alright, it's a beautiful day out here, and it is killing me not to be going out and doing some uh, adventure somewhere, but sometimes you just got to stay home and do some maintenance. Today, we're doing some maintenance on the Fire Ant Art Procedure. Stay tuned, I'll tell you. Alright, those of you who saw my Fire Ant Art stuff, it was a huge success. It took me a long time to prep for it. But it definitely was a 100% success in my uh, sights because we got some really, really cool art. And uh, maybe I'll throw a couple of pictures up there on the screen for you. But y'all remember, it was awesome. But we did have some problems too. Uh, one of our crucibles here that I had made actually burnt through. And it started, it leaked all the stuff out. I still got this one here that I just heated some up the other day in. And it's still working, but it's really thin. And I'm afraid it's going gonna, it's gonna to break before we go out again. So I want to have another backup. And y'all can see how thin that is. Well, when I did that, saw that, I went online and I ordered some metal from a metal company and had it shipped in. It wasn't cheap. But we had it shipped in. I, I got some really thick stuff right here. Check it out. Quarter inch thick. This is 0.25. This over here is like 0.07, I think. But I did find this other pipe here. It's not quite as big as rounds I like. But it, I'm going to make some out of this too. It, it's a little bit thicker, but it's not quite as uh, thick as this new one I got. And that's be the bottom plates for it that Gene gave me there. Uh, Gene also loaned me this bandsaw right here that we can cut it with. So what we're going to do, we're going to make actually be able to make three of them out of this right here. And I'll probably make a couple smaller ones. So sometimes you don't want to use that huge one unless you're doing a really big fire in art. And I got some really cool ideas for some more molten aluminum uh, adventures. And uh, I'll show you about that on another video. But if it turns out, it's going to be really cool. So anyway, let's get started. Get everything set up and go ahead and try to start cutting this stuff. And I might try to weld it. I'm not a welder, but I might try to weld it too. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right. You might want to have them get a straight cut on this thing for our fire ant kiln uh, crucible here. What you do is you take a piece of paper, a long piece of paper, wrap it around, and you got to make sure it lines up perfectly even around this edge. And it takes more than you think it does to get that even because it's twisted off and on. So I finally got it. I'm hoping I can just slip it up here like this. That's my mark right there, that white mark. I'm assuming this end's cut nice and square from the factory, and I marked both ends. So I have two of them will have perfect ends, and one of them, the third one will have one that I cut. So I want to make it as, as good as I can. So... I got that mark now, so what we'll do now is mark it with a, um, a marker. I've got my magic marker right here, my sharpie here somewhere. Anyway, we're going to mark that around there, and then what we'll do is we'll put a piece of tape around it, and then we'll cut it on the edge of that tape. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it, get the tape right, and get ready to get started cutting right now. Stay tuned. All right, this will be my first attempt at ever using one of these saws. Y'all ready to give it a shot? Here we go. Alright, check it out. Pretty good smooth cut there. And it seems like it's come around pretty good. Got maybe got off just a tad there. Get back on track. Not bad though. It's pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and get this one cut off. I got to rotate it now. Let's go ahead and get this one cut off and get one of these cut off cut out for the base and kind of see what we got then. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we just cut our first one off and it's looking good for my first try at this. It looks like it does did pretty good to me. I think I could probably set that down and weld that up with no problem right there. Uh, next thing we'll do is go ahead and cut a piece of this plate off that matches the bottom of this. And we'll have a uh, bottom that we can weld around to it. So, let's get that cut. Give it a shot. Here we go. All right, I have to admit, that one's not quite as straight as the old one, but this is not critical here. This is just going to sit on the base of it right here, so we can weld to it. So, I think we're okay. We're not going to have any problem with that. That's perfect. We got one done up here. This will be the one we're doing right here. And I may attempt welding that. We'll see how it goes. But the first thing I want to do is go ahead and... I am going to weld this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple out of this pipe over here. And, uh... Try to go ahead and get one of those welded and test it out. Man, it takes a lot more work to 
you walk out in the field and just pour the aluminum but there's a lot of preparation goes into doing it so and that's what we're doing now got a lot of stuff to do here i'm gonna make three of those three of those and uh let me show you something else too real quick here we got lots of aluminum what i like to do is melt the aluminum down before i go out there if i can because then you just got little little um what we call muffins because i pour it in a pan and have little muffins but this is where it comes into me just in chunks and pieces and whole bars i got to melt down that's all all that's aluminum. all this is aluminum uh, i'm hoping to have several hundred pounds before we go out to the uh main field in north carolina that i want to go to so we'll have plenty and have a whole lot of them have some, i'm hoping to have some three foot tall i mean some unbelievable art so anyway that's my plan and you see i come through with a lot of my plans so and this is part of right here getting it all ready all right let me get this other pipe up here cut it out and i'll show you when we get ready to do the welding and get it get it set up. and we'll do a little testing hopefully all right stay tuned I went ahead and finished cutting those out. We got three large crucibles. Not ready to go yet. We still got to weld them. But that will be cool. I won't have any problem melting probably 15 pounds of aluminum in that. That would be a nice big one there. All right. Let's go ahead and get started on the pipe over here now. We're going to make three out of this pipe here now. All right, let's do it. All right, I want to get some perfect cuts on this uh, piece of pipe here. So what I did, I put my metal cutting blade in here on my on my table saw. And we're going to cut it with it right now. Are y'all ready? I've already cut one, and it worked out really good. And it's really straight. So let's do another one right now. Here we go. All right, we got three of the big ones, three of the little ones ready to go, and that's the original right there. You can see the difference in the thickness right there for sure. So it's me a lot better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot at welding one of these together and see if it'll hold water. You think it'll hold water? We're gonna find out in just a little bit. I love it though. We're gonna have more than enough. I will never have to make these again the rest of my life. This is gonna take care of me forever right here. As far as the uh, molten aluminum goes, because I have the different projects where I would use small containers and then the ones i use the big containers so this will be really perfect i love it all right let's go ahead and get the welder out and see if we can't weld one of these together all right that's to be it for today in this adventure we're getting ready for a huge fire ant art adventure coming up and probably within about a month but i'm just getting everything together let's check out what we got right now we got these three we got three ready to go here and these will be to put on top of the hole so when you pour it if y'all remember before it was running down the ant hills and all i made these so now it won't run in there hey just drop it on top pour it in there and it should be good now i did try i have to tell you i did try my uh welding try and it completely failed so i'm gonna have to get a welder a real welder to weld them up because uh, mine i got it over there if y'all see it right there it's leaking over there so i didn't get a good seal on that weld so we're gonna have to get a welder to weld the rest of these up for us. And Buddy knows somebody he says he thinks he can weld it. So, anyway, looks like we're getting ready for another adventure in the future. Not today, but in the future. So, hang in there and we'll head out. And uh, maybe, like I say, maybe about a month we'll head out in it. It's gonna be cool, trust me. And I got another little uh, um, metal um, aluminum pouring adventure I'm gonna work on too. So, it's gonna be really cool. All right, I'm still working on it make this process easier safer and more efficient so got one more thing i'm gonna show you if y'all remember i was having to take these little rods and stick them in here and lift it up not i didn't have these right here i was having to stick it in there and hold it up like that and, and drop it well i just welded something together here i think it's gonna be cool check it out i put those bolts on there check it out just slide this on here pick it right up is that cool or what look at that I love it, man. That is going to really make things a lot faster and safer, too, because I don't have I'm trying to put my hand down in there that molten, molten aluminum. I like it. I'm not a good welder, but I think that's going to hold that. All right, stay tuned for another adventure with the Gig Master. Appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know what we're going to be doing next.